Today I'm going to try and teach some of you guys how to set up a max link. Get a lot of questions about it. Got friends I've showed and then they're a week later, man, I don't know what you did. I need to know again. So we'll put it on video, put it up on YouTube, and maybe everybody can learn from it. First thing you want to do is you want to have all your connections made up top or on the side. You, you have your accessory constant ground. Have those hooked up, have the max link actually operational to that point. Next, you want to run your RCA from your head unit to the back, to the input side right here. Plug that in, have it ready to go. Find your favorite test CD, whatever you want to use. Um, I prefer a tone CD for competition, whatever frequency. If you're mainly listening to rap, you probably want to set it in the 40 to 50 hertz range, somewhere in there. If you know your burp frequency, where you're set at, obviously you want to use that to set all this up. But um, put your test CD in, turn, turn the volume up to three quarter volume, and uh, put the track on repeat for that frequency that you want to use. Come to the max link. First adjustment you're going to make is your input level. It's real important to do that first. Turn your input level up accordingly till you see this light come on. When it's green, you're good. Yellow, you have a soft clip out of your head unit, and when it's red, back off. You don't want it in the red. That, that is a clip signal going in. Um, next thing you want to do, make sure that all of your adjustments are turned off. You want your your uh, output voltage to 1. You want your subsonic filter all the way to 15, all the way down. You want your crossover actually turned all the way up to, um, I don't even see the frequency, on, on two, up to 250. Uh, your, leave your input level alone, you've already set that. Phase at 0, boost at 0, bandwidth all the way to the left, and frequency all the way at 30 hertz. That way you're working with just a clean signal now. Next thing you want to do is you need to hook up your sub amplifiers. You don't want to do that in the first step because you're going to make a whole lot of noise trying to dial it in. Um, hook up all your RCAs, whatever you're using, to your amplifiers. Uh, normally you need to use a Y splitter so you can run you know, two channels to your sub, one, one, one RCA signal out to two into the amplifier. So put your splitter on there, run it into your amps. Um, you can run up to 10 amps off the max link. The first five on the top, would actually I'll be, I would say, a positive signal. The back five would be negative. What that means, maybe I can explain it. We understand the, uh, the first five, you're going to wire normal positive negative out of your output into your speakers. The other five, if you decide to use those, you need to wire them reversed, negative and positive, if you're using perhaps this one and the back one. Enough with that. Go ahead, cut on your test tone right here. That's actually a 65 hertz test tone. You want to actually get you a AC meter or a digital multimeter, cut it to AC, put it into your speaker leads here and here. Wire that in or just clamp your meter into that. Start adjusting the gain on your amplifiers. Max link suggests between 4 and 6 volts. I normally set mine at 5.5. .5, so do it however you want. Just I wouldn't try over and I wouldn't try less. There's obviously a reason for that. Dial in every amp dead on. Don't go 5, 6 on one, 5, 5 on the other. It takes some time if you're going to do it right, but have every one of them the same. Now, once you have all your amps dialed in, you can now cut your test tone off. You can actually start to plug in your wires to your uh, amplifiers to the speakers. You can uh, put your input back in if you pulled it out. It wasn't necessary in the first step, but sometimes people do it. Now the fun part, you can actually start to uh, do some adjustments on your max link. You have your output level. That varies per amplifier. You have some amplifiers I've seen like 9 volts. Very few, but some do. Um, mine right now are set at 5 volts, so I actually take 7 pretty well, but 5 for daily. Um, your phase, really not much reason in using that. Most decks now will flip your phase for you, so there, I don't see a purpose in that. Then you have your parametric base EQ. If you're into competition, you can use your term lab, which is these three through here for the uh, max length to set the parametric. You can make a tight bandwidth. You can boost in a certain frequency range once you dial this in. You can really get a lot of boost if, it, if you're burping. 
helps out a lot with the burps. Um, they're pretty simple. Maybe this explained it to you where you know a little bit better. If not, shoot me some questions. I may reshoot it or uh, may be able to answer them.